Contestant number eight, Lao Ching Wen Jini. Mira, 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 Lao Ching Wen Jini. I'm sure most people are familiar with the classic fairy tale of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The story of an evil queen who wanted to kill Snow White, a young and beautiful girl, just because a magic mirror said that Snow White was rare than her. Yeah, that fairy tale. It really isn't a stretch at all to say that the evil queen was truly a well, evil person, right? How could someone be so consumed with jealousy that they would want to kill another person? But I have to be honest. I find myself empathizing with the evil queen sometimes. Not that I'm condoning her actions, but if I were put in her position, having been the fairest in the land for the longest time and suddenly, out of nowhere, this girl takes my spot as the fairest of them all. I would be overwhelmed with jealousy too. Now, drawing this back to real life, four years ago, I ran for president of my primary school choir. Ever since I joined the choir, I had dreams and ambitions of leading as the president. And practically everyone around me told me that I was perfect for the role. Yet when my teacher in charge told me the result of the selection process, Hey Ginny, congratulations. The choir has selected you as our new vice president. I was my choir's vice president, not the president. My heart sank, but I wasn't sad, I wasn't angry. I may have been disappointed, but mainly I was jealous. Jealous because I thought I was perfect for the role. But in reality, there was someone else that was more suitable than me. Jealousy stems from the desire of something that belongs to someone else. And in my case, it was a leadership position. I aspire to be the best at every single thing I do. And when someone else does it better than me, I feel bitter. And the fact is, the more I thought about being lesser than them, the more miserable I felt. But how could I not feel jealous? I wish it hit me sooner, but I've now realized one thing. The main character in all our lives is ourselves. So the only person we should truly care about and be focused on is ourselves. So why should we be so fixated on someone else's achievements when we can just be satisfied with ourselves? And the truth is, when we learn to focus on our own achievements, not only will we discover our hidden strengths, we will also start to continuously make self-improvements, slowly reaching our fullest potential. As of now, I'm still a vice president, just of my secondary school choir. But am I jealous of my president? No. Not at all, because I'm well aware that my enthusiastic and spontaneous personality makes me the perfect person for a laid-back supporting role to my ever-so-serious and on-task president. At the end of the day, the leadership positions or being the fairest of them all, they are all just titles and we shouldn't let it define us. Still, there is no doubt that we will all meet many, many Snow Whites in our lives, but we don't have to be jealous like the evil queen. And do you not wonder too? How would the story have played out if the evil queen never used her magic mirror to see who was the fairest of them all, but instead used it to see her own beautiful reflection? Would she have then learned to be satisfied with herself instead? With that, thank you.